Over these four years, we, students, the teachers, the coaches, and the parents have continued to try to teach you that the core values that we started with you when you entered our campus was not just something to do while you were here at Collegiate, but it was something that we expect you to do and to live out each and every day of your lives moving forward. Every day we emphasize to our students that being a Friendship Collegiate Academy Knight has great expectations of excellence at all times. Today, I congratulate our young men for their starting point in that greatness. The success of your work, students, the success of your work for us, our coaches, our teachers, and myself, as well as your parents, will be determined by what you do now as you go into the world to represent the teachings that we have instilled into you. Always remember that the lessons that you have received and will continue to receive from us is not for the moment in time, but it is for this day moving forward. To Mr. Hintz, I thank you for your vision and the financial support to make these things happen. To the community office members, we thank you for being the backbone and the cheerleaders for our students. To the staff and coaches, we thank you for hanging in there with our great young people here on the stage. You cared, you sacrificed, you remained late hours, you were persistent in your expectations. To our parents, we thank you for entrusting your most precious gift to us and for partnering with us to make this day possible for your child. And to the great scholar athletes that we have here on the stage today, I congratulate you, not only for today, but for your accomplishments that are yet to come. Today, we salute you. Uh, coming to make his opening remarks and to introduce the class of 2015 will be our head coach, Michael Hunter. Good morning. As Mr. Fritz said, I'm Coach Hunter, Mike Hunter. Uh, but before we start with the student athletes today, I want to take some time out to really explain what this day is all about. All right, today is the first day that student athletes in fall sports can sign their national letter of, letter of intent of which college they're going to. All right. Today is not the only day. This period lasts until April the 1st. All right, so we have some young men who are making their commitments today. And we also have some young men who still have to go out and visit different colleges and universities so that they can make a really informed decision. All right, we don't want to just look at a website or hear what a coach has to say. We want to go and see the school and see it for ourselves so that we're happy with where we're going to be over the next four years. Um, on April 1st, we will post the final list of where each of these young men will be attending college, and you can see it on our athletic website. Uh, as we move forward, we're going to start with our young men on the left, and please bear with them. Some of them are very nervous today. They may stumble a little bit, but this is a big day for them. All right, so let's applaud them, let's cheer for them, and let's celebrate them. Thank you for coming to celebrate this very special day with me. Um, receiving scholarships to play football at these following colleges, Morgan State University, Central Connecticut State University, and the University of Maine was very overwhelming. The very first phone call that I received was so relieving. After receiving that call from Morgan State, it made me think about the past few years, and for a second it had brought tears to my eyes. All of the hard work and dedication really did pay off. I would like to thank the support from my beloved mother, Katrina Young, my father, David Whitaker, my grandparents, my brothers, 
and the rest of my family. From the traveling to the early morning travel, from the traveling to the early morning training to the late, late night meals. I'd like to thank Dr. Jewelry, Ms. Trexler, Mr. Fritz, Mr. Atkinson, Ms. Brett, Mr. Ruffin, Mr. E, Ms. Ill Jones, and the rest of the administration staff. I would also like to thank Coach Hunter, Coach Raheem, Coach Kenny, Coach UG Chris, <laughs> Coach Tremor. Yeah, I thank the trainers, Miss Tina, Bree, Lolo. Um, they put a lot of work in. They don't have to be outside with us. They, when it's hot outside during the summer, they make sure that we're hydrated. Uh, I know I wouldn't be standing out this it'd be hot. Um, <laughs> and I, I especially got to thank Coach Lojo. Once I got the FCA, Coach Lojo just took me on his wing. My first year, I was at a transfer though, and I was playing outside linebacker. He just I didn't never practice with him at the defensive end or nothing. He just, second game of the season against St. Francis, won our DNs, then show up to the game. He just threw me in the starting spot. And that was one of the best games in my career. And that was the start of K-9. <laughs> um, <laughs> K-9 is a little thing, because it's my name, K-On Whitaker, and I went number nine. So the nickname K-9 come from me being a dog on the field, all right? <laughs> um, I also like to thank Mr. Hentz for all the behind the scenes uh, work that he has done. Uh, academically, this school has prepared me for the future. And if I could survive Mr. Blood class I, or early college, I know I could survive anything. Yeah, y'all know. <laughs> but uh, now to the good news. Um, Uh, this fall, I will be attending the school, um, the University of Maine, home of the Black Bears. Bear down. <laughs> like, good morning everyone. My name is Edward Morgan. I am happy to be here this morning. Receiving this scholarship means a lot to me because not only am I going to college to do something I love, but I'll be able to further my education. I want to acknowledge some people in my life. My mom and my sister, they helped me get to this point in my life because they have been pushing me from the start to make sure I was always doing my best. Even though we had our ups and downs and she's not with us today, but Ms. Davies always made me believe in myself when I thought I couldn't go any further. Thanks to Dean Act, because he always made sure I stayed on track. He would always say, come on, Joe, keep doing what you're doing. You're on your way to make a name for yourself. Thanks, Coach Kenny, because the first day I walked in here, he has watched over me to make sure I was doing the right thing. Thanks to Coach Hunter, because he had a big task of him, become a head coach job first year and had a lot of pressure. He told me that he would make me be a leader and to do better, but I ain't believe it. But at the end of the year, I was a leader, and my work ethic has gotten better. Thanks, Mr. Hentz, for your support of FCA and the football team. As I finished my high school career, I learned that my work ethic and believing in myself will get me to where I need to be in life. Now, next fall, I will be attending Shepherd University. Good morning, friendship. Good morning, friendship, family, and friends. Through all my high school career, I've been to four different high schools trying to find people. I'm short. Good morning, friendship. Good morning, friendship, family, and friends. Through all my high school career, I've been to four different high schools trying to find a place 
where I feel comfortable. When I got the friendship, I realized that I found the family I've been looking for for two years straight. At this point in my life, my aunt and my uncle, Evie and Jerron Cunningham, have been the most influ influential to me, not only in the field, but in the classroom as well. I'm thankful for them and their influences on me to be a successful person in the world. I would also like to thank Donald Hintz and Ms. Peggy Jones and her staff, administrative staff of Friendship Collegiate for the um, major support of for the major support of the athletics teams of Friendship Collegiate, not only football, but basketball, soccer, and baseball as well. Um, all the coaches, I can't single out none of the coaches because they all have been an influence to me, but not only as a football player, but as a but as being a developing young man and learning and learning to grow up and take responsibilities for my actions. And even though he's not here, I would also like to thank Coach Raheem for helping me find the for helping me find the talents I possess because without him I wouldn't have been able to find out that I know how to play as well as I did. Um I don't even know what to say. Uh, I would like to thank Miss Tana and her and her um staff because through all them summer days, three years straight in the high sun, they was there every day without water. And without them, I don't think we could have survived. And Coach Chairman Ronnie, Coach Jory Ronnie, they we couldn't have survived with them. But before I came to Friendship, I don't think I would have been able to have the opportunities to go to college athletically or academically. I think this is the best school to be at, to have a chance for that, other than anywhere else. Um, I'm currently undecided of where I want to attend football. I'm at a, a where I want to attend school in the fall of 2015, but I don't know. Good morning, Friendship. My name is Jay Gilchrist, and I'm excited to be here today. Um, I first want to thank Ms. Peggy Jones and uh, Donald Hess for letting me play football at uh, Friendship Collegiate Academy. I would also like to thank my coaches, especially Coach White, for teaching me how to play the game of football. And I know it was not easy. I know it wasn't an easy accomplishment because I usually didn't want to listen or I didn't want I didn't want to go the extra mile, but I understand now that 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 you need to finish what you started, and that's what helps you helps you grow now as a better player and as a better man in life. Um, I would like to uh, also thank my parents for being there for me, for being there at every game, every practice, picking me up at every practice. Um, going to every combine with me. I really appreciate you, Mom and Dad, for being there for me. And uh, I'd like to thank my brothers, too, because losing my brother, he always told me that I need to get mine first, even though we fought and everything. Like, like y'all kept, kept me going, for real, for real. And y'all kept me like like the way I, I need to be. Um man, it's not easy to do for real, for real. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'd like to thank the uh IT engineering and technology. I'd like to thank my old line friends, Turtle, Quavez, Wayne, Marco, everybody. And um, 
I'll be furthering my education to Morgan State I have one quick announcement before we finish with the, uh, the young men today. I know all of our students are sitting out there following the rules, phones in their pockets, but today is actually a day you can use your phone in school. All right, we want you to go on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, all right, and hashtag FCA signing day and, F, uh, and national signing day, all right, for all the pictures that you take. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Hance, Miss Peggy Jones, and Miss Lester, and the administrators, coaches, and parents. My name is Tyron Ferguson. Receiving this scholarship means a lot to me. This scholarship allows me to play only at the next level but it also allows me to further my education and receive a college degree. I am really thankful to be in this position right now. I would like to thank God, both of my parents, both of my grandparents. They are always in my ear about doing the right thing, which includes school, and school always comes before sports. My family wants me to be a good man also. They are always there for me whenever I need them. I would also like to thank the rest of my family, friends, and last but not least, my teammates and coaches. They all motivate me to be great and make me want to do my best in all that I do. I would also like to thank my counselor, Mrs. Mathis, and all my teachers who are constantly hard on me and help me when I need it. All my coaches have influenced me to do well on, the, on and off the field. Some coaches who have made a lasting impression are Coach Fritz, Coach Jay, and Coach Hunter. They were all tough on me, so I would, do, so I would be the best version of myself. If I needed anything from them, I could always ask without a doubt. I would also like to thank Ms. Tina, our athletic trainer, for taking care of us on the field during practice and games and off the field when we were injured. I am thankful for the athletic support our team has received from FPCS and Mr. Hens. Their support has allowed me to be a successful student athlete. The lessons I have learned from high school that I will use in college and in life is to never wait till, until the last minute to do anything and that I am responsible for and control my own future. As of now, my top three schools are St. Augustine, Central State, and Glenville State. I have not made a decision yet, but I will a few, after a few more visits. So as of now, I'm undecided. Darnell Thompson. I stand here for today, this morning, to, see, to accept the athletic scholarship. <sighs> Philippians 14 and 13 say, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Without God and my family, none of this would be possible. I would, like to, I would like to thank Ms. Peggy Jones and Donald Hens for keeping the athletic program, programs going here at Friendship Collegiate. I also, would like to thank, I also would like to thank all the coaches.
also would like to thank all the coaches for being there for me and teaching me how to become a better student athlete. There's no other football program that could teach me, it could have taught me how to be a better student athlete. I would like to. I would also like to thank Coach Rogers. Coach Rogers for being there for me. He also he been there for me since eighth grade. He always told me, "Don't think, just do." I will keep that with me throughout my football career, rest of my football career. I also would like to thank Coach Hunter for helping me out with the recruiting process. I'm sorry, y'all. I, 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 it's just that this day came so fast. I never thought this moment would have come. I don't know, it's like I, let, I have stuff written down on this paper and it's In closing the scholarship, in closing the scholarship, this world, it means the world to me because it will let, it will allow me to attend college for a national stable and do great things in the world for those who help me and, and make it, so I can help them for those who help me and so for those who help me and I, so I can make them proud. I would also like to thank those are all involved for helping me to receive this scholarship opportunity. I'm currently undecided between three schools, Central State, St. Augustine, and Shepherd University. everyone. I said good morning everyone. Good morning. My name is Adrian Mosere. These past four these past four years has been a journey. I have overcame obstacles that affect things within myself and my environment. These things make me the strong person that I am, strong independent person that I am today. I've learned that you need to sacrifice your wants and work for your needs. The most important thing I carry with me is to be responsible because my coach, my, none of my coaches or my mom will always be there. And speaking of my mom, I would like to thank my mom and my granddad for everything they have done and have will and will do in the future.
I want to thank all my coaches, all of them. All of them stand out. All of them helped me in many ways. I want to thank them all for installing the, the fight in me. Encouraging me to never quit. Encouraging me to better myself and have full confidence in myself. I would like to thank Mr. Donald Hentz, Ms. Jones, her administration, and all my counselors for everything for these past four years. I want to thank Ms. Tina for everything she does. I love you, Ms. T. I want to thank my team. I want to thank everybody on this stage. I mean, these guys have fought with me every day in and out. Uh, I will hold, I will cherish our memories. I love y'all to death, man. I want to thank Quavez and Wayne. For every day fighting with me. Every day on the line, Jay, Turtle, every day fighting with me. Give me get me better, and I know if I compete with these guys, I can compete with anybody, because it's not easy, y'all. I'm fat, fat. <laughs> and I also want to thank Alante Jones for, for pushing me and motivating me. Uh, uh, that's a real, that's, I got a that's my man. <sighs> and I just want to thank all my, um, the, the upcoming seniors, I want to wish the best of luck to y'all. And I just want to say, in the fall, we'll be attending Apprentice College. I'm thankful, y'all. Sammy Walker. I'm a senior here at FCA. I would like to thank Mr. Hess for supporting the football program and Ms. Jones for leading our school. I would like to also thank all the coaches that helped me this season. This spring I will be decided between Glenville State, Shepherd State, St. Augustine, and Central State. I will make my decision after I have more time to take a visit. Thank you. Good morning. I would first off just like to say thanks to everybody, the football organization, my family, most of all, my little sister. She like, she like another mother to me. She always on me, keeping me up. If I need to talk to her, I can always come talk to her. I would also like to thank Ms. Jones for supporting the program as well as Donald Hentz. I'd like to thank Ms. Tina for helping me rehab, getting me back to where I need to be. I would also like to thank Mr. Hayes, my mentor, helping me out, making sure that uh, I'm on track for college and stuff like that. I'm just thankful for the opportunity to come play for this organization and this, uh, this school. It's just been a great opportunity for me. I have not made my decision yet for college, but my two schools that uh, that I have in mind is uh, St. Augustine and um, Glenville State. Thank you.
Good morning. My name is Alante Jones. First, I want to start off by saying I want to thank God for letting me see another day. I'm glad to be here today. The opportunity to receive a scholarship means a lot to me as well as my fellow peers. I'm here because my family has helped me become the young man I am today. My dad, both of my mothers, my aunt, and especially my grandma, which is in heaven right now, watch it down, and always told me to strive for success and never to give up. My coaches stayed on me all through the year to do my best and stay on track because they saw potential even where I didn't. I want to give a special thank you to all the support that we have received from the Friendship Administrative staff as well as Mr. Hintz. As I, prepare, as I prepare to leave Friendship, I have learned to never put all your eggs in one basket. It, it's always to have a good other plans. I want to give a special shout out to all the coaches, Dr. Jury, Coach Tremor, Ms. Tana, Coach Dojo, and Coach Hunter, and Coach Fritz. At this time, I am undecided we are, as we are a wheel 10 to 4. Good morning, everyone. I want to start off by thanking my parents because they always believed in me. Uh, the Friendship Football Organization is more than just football to me. It's a brotherhood. It has provided a lifelong partnership, bonds, and relationships that I will forever live with me. I want to thank Mr. Hentz because he has built a network that connects us through graduation. I want to also thank Ms. Tina because she never gave up on me when I got injured. I'd like to also thank Ms. Robio and Ms. James because they both helped me through my years at Friendship and have encouraged me to, pu to push past the obstacles that encouraged me to live. I want to also thank Twan Lamont. Uh, I also want to thank Wayne Quavez because they've been with me. I want to thank Dr. Jewelry for um, making us keep running all them laps this year. Uh, Coach Trimmer for kept yelling at me. Coach Lojo. Uh, furthermore, the college that I will be attending next fall is Winston-Salem State University. start off by thanking my father and the rest of my family for me, for creating me. Without my father, I don't think I'd be playing any sports at all. And I also would like the whole coaching staff for making me a better football player throughout the years, through the ups and downs that I had. And I also would like to thank Donald Hentz and the rest of the Friendship Administration for keeping the program here at Friendship and making me a better man. I also would like to thank the whole Friendship Football team for the days that I wanted to quit running, doing up-downs and everything else to keep me going. I also would like to thank Ms. Tina for actually helping me through the times that I was down. Well, the school that I'll be attending this fall, I'm currently undecided on where I'll be going. It's between Central State, St. Augustine, and Glenville State College. Good morning, everyone. My name is Wayne Sellers Jr. and I'm from College and Career Prep. <laughs> Receiving a scholarship means more than the world to me. All throughout my high school career, I've learned that I could be successful by maintaining good grades and performing on the field so that I may earn a scholarship to do what I love most. Once I found that out, I really stepped on the gas and woke up and made it my business to become successful and be the first to become a success and be the first in my family to make it to college. 
I don't think I would have. I don't think I would have ever been able to make it without the support of my mother. Stand up, ma. Stand up, ma. My aunt Nikki, my grandparents, my second mother, Miss Erica Hunter, the coaches, and of course my brothers. I would like to give a special shout out to Coach White for helping me get so much better at my craft and always been there when I wanted to talk. He made me feel as if I was his own child by taking me under his wing. Coach Tremors for molding me into a man pulling me aside and engraving in my head that I can become a leader and telling me the obstacles he had to face when he was younger. Coach Kenny for helping, for helping me get into friendship, standing on me about my grades and just the little things he would do. I really understand why he did it now. I would like to thank each and every coach for building a strong relationship with me and having faith in the student athlete I became. My high school education influenced me to want to receive a college degree because I know I could use football to get a free education. Without coming to friendship, I would not be physically or mentally stable, and I, would not, and I would not know the meaning of family. I would like to thank Mr. Hemps for keeping this football program going, and Ms. Peggy Jones for standing on top of the football team for, uh, so we can uh, become leaders throughout the building. I have learned lessons throughout the building and in the classroom that will help me on the field, like discipline. I am currently undecided between Glenville, Bowie State, St. Augustine, Shepherd, and Central State. I have a couple of more visits before I make my final decision. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Coming from McKinley Tech, I didn't have as many opportunities. Can y'all hear me now? I said, coming from McKinley Tech, I didn't have as many opportunities as I did here. My first time coming to FCA, I was with Coach Durant. The workouts was, it was really intense, so I actually second-guessed myself about playing football. Um, as my time spent here, I'd like to thank Coach Dojo, Coach White, Coach Trey, Coach Hunter, Coach Trimmer, and the uh, entire football staff. I'd also like to thank Ms. Tina for keeping us hydrated during the summer and those hot days. Um, I'd also like to thank the O-line, Wayne, Jay, Elijah, uh, Brian, and Toro. I'd also like to thank my grandparents, Betty and Alfonso Taylor for supporting me through this entire journey of recruitment. I'd also like to, to, thank, to, to thank my aunts and uncles. <sighs> also, I want to thank Mr. Ron Franken, Ms. Erica Hunter, Ms. Terry Smith, and all the other French Collegiate parents. I also want to thank Ms. Peggy Jones and Mr. Donald Hintz for be, the behind the scenes action. And I'd also like to thank the class of 2015 for support. So in the fall of, fall of ah, ah. in the fall of 2015, I will be taking my talents to Maryland University. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jay Cameron Jr. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank God for this opportunity to stand before you. Um, I'd just like to thank him for all the blessings he, that he's given me. Um, for me, college means taking another step in the direction of success. Um, just finally be able to um, see the results, positive results, for my parents, hard work, and all those who support me. Um, being another achiever in the young African American African American male community is another thing I've, I feel like I'm accomplishing, just as everyone else on this stage. That community is built for young African men to not be able to succeed, and I think we should really acknowledge that. 
Um, I also see this as a point where I'm starting my life, you know, starting my life to do better things than what I've already done. First of all, I'd like to thank God again for giving me blessings and opportunities. I'd like to thank my mom for all the support that she's instilled in me and pushing me and also being a second coach. Um, I'd like to thank my sister for all that she's done, you know, supporting me. She's never missed none of my games. I'd like to thank my father for, you know, everything he's done, um, all the sacrifices he's made. Um, I'd like to thank my entire family, grandparents, and everyone just for everything they've done. Another man I'd like to really thank is uh, Dr. Charze. Um, a lot of people consider him as my second father. All the opportunities he's just pushed forward to me and thrown in my face, is, I really do appreciate it. Um, I'd like to thank Donald Hintz right here for just, you know, the support and really teaching me what it means to give back um, to a community and, you know, leaving something behind to create a legacy. And I think that's a big thing of what friendship does in this family. And again, I'd like to thank the whole entire friendship family, you know, from Ms. Peggy Jones to Ms. Booth to everyone, from, you know, everyone down. I really do appreciate those. I'd also like to thank the Class 2015 of Friendship Collegiate. <laughs> Um, I came a little late, transferred in my sophomore year, and I just appreciate them accepting me as a part of, you know, a real family. Um, friendship has really taught me how to manage my time and, you know, just be successful in times of hardship. Um, with that being said, um, next fall, I'll be saying... The University of Pennsylvania. Real quick, um, to be honest, I feel like I don't really deserve to accept this award. So real quick, I just want to give my father this hat because all the sacrifice that he's made, not having a father in his life, for him to be able to change his world just for me, I think that's a big thing. And a lot of other men who don't have fathers in their lives should really start doing so real quick, Dad. everybody. Uh, receiving this scholarship guarantees that I have a shot at my dreams of making it to the NFL, but most importantly getting a college degree. It's truly a blessing and shows hard work really pays off. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my brothers, and my sisters, my whole entire family. They motivated me to be successful and chase my dreams. I would like to thank Dane Act, Mr. Fritz, Coach Hunter, Coach Lojo, Coach Chris, Coach Jay, all my coaches, and I would like to thank Mr. Sturdivant for influencing me to do better and grinding with me and teaching me life lessons. Um, I know a college diploma, I mean a high school diploma, can't help me start a career that I want, but it's the first step to a long journey. The support I received from uh, FCA and Mr. Hintz is a blessing, and it has really made, me, made a difference in my life. As I leave S FCA, one thing I always carry to college with me is to be, remain humble and be focused and set goals for the future. Um, during this fall, I will attend Central Connecticut State University. start off by saying, just want to thank this group of guys for letting me play with y'all. I came a long way, I'm telling I'm just thankful for staying up here because I didn't know I would be up here to receive something like this. And unfortunately, my mother couldn't be here today, so. But I still thank her, you know what I'm saying, for all the years we had. Hello? Oh, all right. But, yeah, she couldn't be here because I told her different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the school has influenced me to go to college because I wasn't about to go at first. I was like, nah, I, ain't, I don't know. But they kept persuading me to go. So, oh, y'all can hear me? Man. Hello? Y'all can hear me? Can All right. But they influenced me to go. And I just want to thank all the coaches, and without them, I wouldn't be able to play Coach Hunter, 
all the coaches. But anyway, good morning, everyone. My name is Dominic Scott. I am glad to be up here today. Friendship has helped me in so many ways to tell, too many ways to tell. Friendship has made me see that college is an opportunity for me. Yeah, I know that. I want to thank Miss Peggy Jones. Where she at? She in the back. Ms. Peggy Jones, Donald Hans, and all the administrators for supporting this football team. If it weren't for Donald Hans, we wouldn't be able to travel. All the, you know what I'm saying? We travel, go eat, and all stuff like that. Anyways, Donald, uh, Mr. Richardson, Mr. Richardson has listened to me when I wanted to talk and helped me when I needed it. I thank him for that. I would use this, I would use everything I learned at Friendship next year when I attend a Princess College. everybody doing this morning? Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, for letting me stand today on the stage. <laughs> um, I am John Willingham, you know, but everybody calls me Turtle. <laughs> today is a very st special day for me. The idea of a guy like me being considered for a scholarship means a lot to me. I would not be, today, be here today if it was for a, spe a few special people. My mom always pushed me to do my best, and not to be lazy. Thank you, Mom, but she's not here because she's at work right now. But uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Brooks and Coach Raquan. always want me to do better because they knew I could do better because I never really had a male role model in my life. They stuck with me. They stuck with me. The football program here at Friendship helped me it's bring attention. The football program at Friendship brings attention to football players. Um, I appreciate that. But. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just a little nervous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but friendship experience has made me want to be something out life outside of football. I have not decided where I have what why I want to do a skin school yet, but my three choices are Central State, Glenville State, and Lycoming College. Good morning, everyone. My name is Vance Adams. Um, in this journey, I've had trials and tribulations that I have corrected them. I want to thank God, first of all, my mother, my father, my brother, my cousins, and my aunts and uncles. Um, they've always been here to help me succeed. They've been here every game, win or lose, blistering heat or bone chilling cold. They were out there. I love y'all so much. Also, praise to go out to Ms. Peggy Jones, our principal, and Mr. Donald Hintz for supporting the team. I wanted to give the coaches uh, a thanks, too. Uh, special thanks to Coach Chris, Fritz, Coach White, Coach Lojo, Coach Q, Coach J, Coach J Senior, Coach Raquan, Coach Kenny, and most of all, Coach Trimmer and Coach Trey. And I can't forget the best trainer in the world, Ms. Tina. It is a... It is a difficult decision to select a school in the football program that will best fit for me. Although I'm undecided, when I make my selection, I will continue to work friendship as best as I can. Thank you. Good morning. Ladies, gentlemen, family, and friends. I am Tay John Diggs. Today is an important day for me and my teammates because we get to let you guys know where we, uh, where we will attend school in the fall. This scholarship means that I am ready for college work and to face the challenges that college may bring. The people that have been most inf influential in my life are my wonderful mother, Shonetta Diggs, my father, Winfred Diggs Sr., who can't be here today, my sister, Brianna, who's in school right now, and most of all, the man that's watching over me as my angel, my brother, Winfred Diggs Jr. And I'm honored to be his little brother. The coaches I would like to thank are our head coach, Coach Hunter, 
for making sure I was on top of my academics. Coach Waquan, who always pushed me and strived me to do my best, even when I was a freshman. Coach Rogers, who have helped me with my agility and quickness. And Coach Raheem, who taught me that toughness beats talent any day. When I was growing up, I always wanted to be successful and have a high level career. You have to have a great education to achieve anything in life. Being at Friendship Collegiate Academy, it has taught me to strive for excellence in everything that you do. Currently, I'm undecided about what school I want to attend, but my top schools are Hampton Sydney College, Southern Virginia University, and Apprentice College. I appreciate all of you for coming to be a part of this great day. Thank you. Let's give these gentlemen another round of applause. Uh, I know I spoke earlier about those guys being nervous and a little emotional, so if I get a little emotional, please excuse me. Uh, these guys really mean a lot to me. Uh, I want to first start off by thanking some people today uh, who make this program and this day special for all of us in this football program. Um, there's a guy, he's not in the building. Um, everyone here knows him. I know he's somewhere watching. Uh, Coach Raheem, I want to say thank you for starting this program and giving these young men a chance to go to college. So I know you're watching, and we love you, though. Uh, I would also like to thank our founder and CEO, Mr. Donald Hentz. He supports our program 100%. It's not, there's not one thing that if we go to him and it's going to benefit our young men, he's going to turn us down. Um, we can go to him, we can call on him at any time, and he's going to support us 100%. So I would like for him to stand, and everyone please give him a round of applause. I would also like to thank uh, our board members for Friendship Public Charter Schools. If we have any board members, please stand at this time. All right, well, let's give them a round of applause. The, me the members of our community uh, office, uh, there's a few people who really had a strong hand in getting this done. Ms. Simone Green. Mr. Sean Goff, and Ms. Helen Hickson. She's in the back. As we all know, when you're dealing with a program this strong and this powerful, this is not a job that for one person. It takes a lot of people to make this thing possible. All right, and all of you mean a lot to me. I know I'm not always the most outspoken guy, not the most emotional guy, but I really want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. And I'll start with Miss Peggy Jones. Can she, can she, still, oh. she is our principal. She leads us. Uh, she really supports our team. She holds me accountable for everything I do with our young men. Uh, she pulls me in her office when she's not happy with something and makes sure I get it right. So I want to thank you for being our leader. Uh, our academy directors, Ms. Procope, Mr. Beatty, Dr. Charze, Ms. Booth, and Mr. Fritz. There are a lot of other people in this school building that work with our students every day and can contribute greatly to the success that you see uh, with these young men. Our dean of students, Mr. Atkinson, Ms. Mathis, and Ms. Botchway. Ms. Lester, Ms. L. Jones, Ms. Mr. E, our counseling department, Ms. Jefferson, Ms. Stewart, 
Ms. Mathis, Ms. Wilkins, Ms. Wilkerson, and Mr. Watkins, Ms. James, and her entire staff. Our front office staff members, Ms. Brooks, Ms. Washington, Mrs. Reynolds, and Ms. Grayson. I call them the first ladies of friendship. Anything I need, they're always there to support me. I know they get tired of me coming down every day asking for help, but they never turn me down and say no. Mr. Armwood and his wonderful security staff, they, they stay late, they come early, they come on Saturday. If we have a game out of town, they show up at 3 o'clock in the morning to let us back in the building. Everything you guys do is much appreciated. Our wonderful teachers and other staff members, can you please stand if you have taught any of our young men that's on stage today? Let's give them a round of applause. Those are the guys and women who really make it possible for these, men to, these young men to accept these scholarships. All right, football is just a vehicle that we're going to use to attract them to certain universities, but it's the efforts of the teachers and staff members who make it all possible. Probably the person who does the most work for our athletic department and deserves the most praise is our athletic trainer, Ms. Christina Benson. Stand up. No, stand up. She puts in more hours than anyone in our athletic department, including myself. And I just want to say thank you again. Um, again, my words may not do justice, but I really do appreciate everything you do for us. Our wonderful student assistants, Sharnice Jackson, Victory Porter, Jemiah Jackson, Brianna DeSilver, Donye Williams, and Lauren Palmer. Two years ago, our football program was introduced to a wonderful organization, the Becky's Fund. They stepped in in the summertime teaching our young men about the signs of domestic violence and how to act accordingly. And I would like to recognize Ms. Becky and her staff. Can you guys please stand? But that's what this program is all about. We're not just about teaching football. We're about cultivating the entire young man. And two years ago, we started this domestic violence training. And obviously, this past fall, with the things that happened in the NFL, became big news. But our young men knew how to respond in those situations. All right, and lastly, I would like to thank uh, the coaching staff here at Friendship. Uh, these guys put up with me. I know I'm not always the easiest guy to deal with. Um, they keep me on my toes, and I try to do my best to be a great leader for them. Uh, as I call your name, please stand and get your just due. Lawrence Joseph, Kenny Wassum, <laughs> Reginald Mosley, Chris Goodwin, Jay Cameron Sr., Kelvin Tremor, Monty Fritz, Randall White, James Long, Malcolm Drury, Divine Carter, John Datcher, Hakeem Foreman, Will Bryant, Greg Gaskins, uh, Mike Duran, and Minoso Rogers. And the, the last thanks I would like to give are to the parents of the class of 2015. Can you guys please stand and everyone give them a round of applause. I do apologize, and it's not an oversight. I'm a little nervous. Coach Quentin Reed, can you please stand? <laughs> All right, almost a year ago today, Friendship Football went through a major change. Uh, our head coach, uh, Azar Rahim, took a job at the University of Alabama. Um, he deserved that opportunity, and we were happy for him, but I know for myself I was sad to see him go. 
uh, not only as the head coach, but I've known Coach Raheem since we were in high school. We were really good friends. And eight years ago, he uh, called me to come and uh, be an assistant as he built this program. When he left and uh, handed the keys over to me, uh, I was a little nervous, I have to be honest. He set a standard and, and it really pushed me every day to make sure that on the first Wednesday of February, I will be able to stand up here with these young men and, and they can announce where they're going to college. A lot of people made statements about the change, some good, some not so good. But I want everyone to know why this program was started and, and why we do the things we do. This day is our championship day. All right. It's the first Wednesday of February that is our championship. I task anyone in this room or watching on the internet to go out and find a, a, a high school where all 21 of their seniors have a place to go and play college football. Now don't get me wrong, everyone here associated with this program wants to win championships. We want to have undefeated seasons. We want to hang banners in the gym. But this is the day that's most important to all of us. When we talked about our program a year ago as a staff, we talked about continuing the process of developing the whole child. All right, some phrases that you'll hear a lot of us talk about are accountability, teamwork, sacrifice, and the 40-year plan. All right. Accountability is something that we really stress with our program. All right. We don't like to hear the word I unless you're talking about how you are going to improve and how you are going to help someone else. That's the only time we want to hear the word I. Teamwork. All right. Like I said, we always want to reach out and help the next person. And that's why we spend so much time with community service. Our 21 seniors have completed over 3,300 hours of community service over their four years. <laughs> Sacrifice. It's hard being a student athlete in high school and in college. These guys stay after till 6.30 every day to work out, to go to study hall, and things like that to make this day possible. The 40-year plan. A lot of times you hear students talk about what college they're going to go to to play football. We use football just as a vehicle all right, to make our plans so we can go on to graduate college and be productive citizens as we move on in our communities. A lot of times today when you watch the media, whether it be print media, uh, TV, or social media, you hear a lot of stats about our young inner city black men. Most of them are negative. But I'm going to leave you with some stats today about these young men that's sitting on this stage. When I took over March 1st of last year, our team GPA was a 2.4. I challenged all of our team members that our goal was going to be a 2.7 by football season. And I'm proud to announce our first quarter team GPA was a 2.85. And I want to point out the young men that's sitting on the stage, the senior class team GPA or GPA for the first quarter was a 3.0. We have 59 of our football players from the varsity, JV, and freshman teams that have received a 3.0 GPA. 15 of them received at least a 4.0. And that's what you call a student athlete. The national average says that 1% of high school football players will move on to college. I'm proud to announce that we're going to have 100%. And 
again, I want to thank everyone for coming out to support our uh, team members, whether they're up here on stage, the ones sitting in the stands, to the student body. We really appreciate you guys and all the support that you give us. To the teachers, again, I want to say thank you. Coming to the stage to give the closing remarks for today's event is our founder and chairman, Mr. Donald Hintz. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to say good morning to our students, uh, our parents, and their families who are, who are out here. Um, this is a very big day for me uh, because uh, football is a passion of mine. Uh, it just is. We have sports teams here and we support sports teams here because we believe that they are vehicles to get our kids in and through college. That's what it's about for friendship. Uh, we might accidentally get one or two in the pros, um, but we'll take that too. Um, I'd like to say thanks to Michael for stepping in this year. Thank you. Uh, you did everything um, that I could have imagined. Um, the GPAs, you know that works for me. Uh, to um, our guys on the stage, I'm proud of each and every one of you. I'm not gonna call your name, Jay. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm especially proud of Jay um, to get that uh, Ivy League scholarship um, and uh, we'll hear a whole bunch out of it um, and I'm really really proud thank you you guys have been just tremendous uh, to uh, Peggy uh, the administrators here, to the coaching staff, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for what you do. Thank you to our, our students who help, our trainers. Uh, you guys do a wonderful job, and you know I appreciate you, and I want you to know that. Uh, thank you. This is a good day for me. Very good day. All right, before we conclude today, a few of our seniors would like to come up and uh, have a special presentation. We would just like to do a moment of silence for two of our lost brothers, Marquise Meadows and Winfred Diggs. Thank you. 